Hi, my name is Maria Falzoni and I have sex. So my daughter is now in puberty and there is no she's in puberty so now we'll talk about sex. We talked about sex when she was a baby where she knew the name of her genitals. Like, I think that's one of the craziest things that parents get so wrong. That children don't become sexual and when they're 12 and 13 they become fertile but they're born sexual, they die sexual, and if I had waited until she was 12 to talk to her about sex, I would have been screwed, because she didn't want to talk to me at 10. So I started early, I started by her knowing the name of her genitals, that it was okay for her to masturbate. I mean, we, I never said, no, you're, now you're gonna masturbate and you're masturbating, but you know, that thing of whenever her diaper came off, that's your vulva, you're touching your vulva, it feels good to touch your vulva, you can touch your vulva, mommy's touching your vulva because I have to clean your vulva, nobody else touches your vulva. If they do, you bite them till they bleed, try to get an eyeball out, it's your vulva. You know, and vulva was my daughter's third word. One day I went to change her diaper, she looked at me and she went, vulva, and I went, yes, that's your vulva. That she knew that, and at three, when she's touching her vulva in the driveway, it's like, you, you can't do that, but it feels good. Of course it feels good, but you can do that in your room, that's a private act. Or you're having a sleepover, you like to touch your vulva before you go to sleep, you can't do that at your friend's house. That, and she's like, I know it's private, I can only do it in my room with the door shut and all the shades down. I'm like, well, I don't know if all the shades have to be down, but yeah, in your room with the door shut would be nice. And that, then when she was 10 and they had sex education in school, because they start around 10 now, so I like, had a fantasy of her coming home and wanting to talk to me about it, and she didn't. She didn't want to talk about that. But there was always a space for whenever she wanted to, she could. And she always did ask questions when she was younger. So now she's 12 and she's come back to talking about it. She actually just drew a picture of, um, she's gonna kill me for saying this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, she drew, she's into anime, so she drew this character, she created a character, and she was drawing him. He's like all cut and has abs, and, and she says his left arm is bigger than his right arm. She goes, that's, that's the hand she use, he uses to masturbate. And I'm, high five me, kid! So there's this whole joking and openness about it. And it's changed now, like she went away and she came back and I'm imagining she's gonna be 13 and emo again and go somewhere, but hopefully she'll always come back. And it's always there, you know.